Hello everyone, um, today I want to do, uh, do an unboxing of two new uh, devices, um, actually it's one but uh, and the other one is just a backup and they are used, uh, basically this guys, and it's a ADXL345 version 1.0 from B3TAC and this is an accelerometer they are used for the input shipper, shipping uh, in uh, uh, Clipper. Uh, I will do another video how to configure and set up uh, and talk about m more about uh, input uh, shipper. And uh, here I just wanted to show you um, these two accelerometers. This guy from bb 3 tech I paid around uh, $9, $9.5 and 50 cents, 9 point. and this guy instead is $3 including shipping. This guy too is $9.50 nine uh, including shipping. So let me do an unboxing. And they, basically, they do the same thing. Uh, the only difference is the packaging. Uh, so, this is the uh, B3 tech. It has uh, wiring uh, that you need to connect here and then to the board. Uh, if you have a small uh, 3D printer, I think this wiring is enough, else you need to figure out how to find uh, a longer cable. Anyway, this is the uh, accelerometer. The good part is that it has these two um, holes, mount holes, so you can set it up in your 3D printed uh, as you want. Um, well here is just sign. Okay, measure 1.0. And just to compare how big it is, uh, I thought it was much bigger, but instead it's pretty small. Here, uh, close to a a driver. This is a 5160 Pro. So it's pretty, pretty small, okay? So this is the branded version with, the, with this uh, packaging, let's say, this mount, okay? Let me put it on the side. And this is the standard one that you just get it for uh, the OI um, electronics type of project. Uh, let me see if I can open it. And, uh, open. Okay. Okay. So this bare bone, so it has just the PCB and uh, pins. So you need to sol do the soldering, figure out which pin you need. I don't think you need all of them. Uh, and in the manual, uh, there are a description of which pins you need to uh, use. Okay. And this is the packaging, the PCB. So compared to a the size of a driver is pretty much the same, much smaller. Okay, uh, three dollar. The other one is ten. The only thing you need to do some soldering. You need to figure out which which pins to use, and most likely you need to besides there's a hole on the PCB here and another one here to do the mounting. But maybe you need to do a to 3D print some other mounts, uh, you know, that's it. 
So compare the two. This is 10 bucks, 3 bucks, but this guy comes with wiring and all solder done. You know, it's up to uh, what kind of project you're doing. Uh, if you want to save three, uh, six dollar, I'm um, not sure if it's worth it to save three, six dollar because you need to do a lot of work with this guy. The DIY. Okay? I'll leave in a, uh, links for both of them if you're interested in purchasing. And um, that's it. Please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do more videos. And um, if you have any comments, please leave it in the, the, uh, in the comment section. Thank you, and I'll see you on next video. Bye-bye.